After an intense workout, when you're feeling tired and dehydrated, should you reach for the ice cold electrolyte filled Gatorade or a glass of milk? Before I answer that, let's make sure we all understand what dehydration truly is. Dehydration is classified as a net loss of 2% body weight and can lead to an altered CNS function, a decline in cognitive or mental ability, skeletal muscle cramps, and even lead to heat exhaustion. Moderate dehydration can be classified as losing 5% body weight, and severe can be classified as losing 10% body weight. Thirst stimulates Osmo receptors present in the hypothalamus within the brain, and ADH, or antidiuretic hormone, is secreted by the posterior pituitary gland in response to increased concentration of electrolytes in order to conserve water. In a study by Chevrant et al., participants were placed in a hot room of 45 degrees Celsius for three hours either with or without fluid replacement, leaving some dehydrated. Next, they underwent exercise on a stationary bike. The results showed the hydrated participants maintained their performance level, meanwhile the dehydrated participants had a 5-10% to decrease in their cardio performance. The human body needs to maintain a fairly stable core body temperature, and does so through four forms of thermoregulation, radiation, conduction, convection, and evaporation. Evaporation accounts for 25% of heat loss through intensive water loss and sweating. At rest, muscles are typically 33-35 to degrees, but this increases during exercise. The brain senses its rise in temperature and the hypothalamus by a negative feedback loop causes the body to sweat. Negative feedback loop is a regulatory mechanism in which a stimulus causes an opposite output in order to maintain an ideal level of whatever is being regulated. A study by Watson et al. compared Gatorade and milk in terms of nutritional value and their hydration efficiency. Milk has a higher content of electrolytes as well as additional nutrients such as protein and other vitamins such as calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin A. Milk was an overall better hydrator and provides a more stable glucose profile. Consuming fluids rich in sodium stimulates thirst and retains body water. If the sodium isn't replenished, your body will produce more urine and lose water. Chloride assists in regulating electrolyte concentration. Muscle function, bone strength, nerve signaling all depend on adequate potassium. Potassium is mostly lost through urine, not sweat. Therefore, if you don't consume enough sodium, your body produces more urine and therefore you end up losing more electrolytes. Glucose in the body is stored as glycogen. Carbohydrates help replenish glycogen stores, which can be enhanced by the addition of protein to the ingested carbohydrate solution, which can subsequently improve exercise capacity during a second bout of exercise performed around the same day. Protein assists with muscle protein synthesis and also assists with glycogen replenishment. In conclusion, milk has proven to provide better hydration even one hour following exercise, provides a more stable glucose profile, and additionally is rich with nutrients that can be beneficial in recovery for athletes following exercise. So next time, when you're parched after an intense workout, make the informed decision. Got milk? For more videos like this, please subscribe to our Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel.